Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Animated Headlines feature in Elementor Pro. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't have Elementor Pro already, I highly recommend that you get it. And if you want to support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. So I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Elementor Pro elements in videos here and making a playlist of them. So if you want to see more of these, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more Elementor Pro videos. Now with that out of the way, let's dive into the tutorial. So animated headlines are great because they allow us to capture our viewers attention by using text effects. So to get started, make sure you have Elementor Pro installed just as I do here. And let's put in the animated headline widget and get started. So you can go to search widgets and simply start typing animated and animated headline will come up. Then you can just drag it and let's just drop it right in here. Right now it says this page is amazing and it has this circle around it. You can see right here it has different styles and a headline. So we have highlighted or rotating and those are the two key ones that we can use. So just to show you rotating real quick here. It will give you an option and usually these are used in like a typing effect so right here you can see it says this page is bigger this page is faster and it will say this page is better so it does this typing effect by default here for the animation but you also can do things like clip and this will then show what it looks like right there it's a little bit different if you do flip you can see it just flips up and in there i kind of like that one you can do swirl right here and swirl is almost like a wave effect going down the letters in my opinion blinds is just flipping it just like blinds on a window would be and then you have drop in right here just drops right into place then we have wave right here which to me is more like a little bit different than swirl but it's kind of similar and then we have slide it just slides in there it's kind of cool catches the eye and then we have slide down from the top so those are the animation effects and if you look at highlight it they're going to have different effects as well. So we have circle, curly, we can put under it, underline, double, uh, which is above and below, double underline, which is both below, underline zigzag, and then we have diagonal right here, it goes through it, strike through is going to go right through the middle, and then we have an X which will go right across it. So let's just say you wanted to use this as an example with this X, and you could put something like web design, services starting at and then right here you might want to put something like two thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars but it has this x through it and then you could actually put something like nine hundred ninety seven dollars as the start mark here so maybe you don't want it to be green so maybe you want to change the color of this line going through it you can go over to where it says style and then where it says shape color you can choose this and maybe make it red so it has this red line through it. You can also go and choose the width and increase the width of it that goes through it. I think it's better with a bigger one like this. It kind of gets a little bit more emphatic in my mind. If we go down to where it says headline, we can change the color. So it's a little dark right now. Let's just click text color and we'll make it white. As you can see, what's getting struck through right there is a different color, but you might want that to be the case. So let's say you're trying to have it stand out you might want it to be a different color. So if we go to headline, animated text color, we can change it to white in this case. But let's just say we wanted to do the rotating one as an example here, we can show that as well. Or you can maybe make this a little bit faded by the way, and then it won't be quite as noticeable, but you can still read it. But let's just show the rotating one real quick. So if we go back and let's make this color right here for the animated text color, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna make it more of a yellow color. So that's going to stand out quite a bit there, maybe a little less yellow. And then we're going to go back over to content. And here we can change it to where it says rotating. And now it's really going to stand out. As you see, it, it slides down by default right here, the last one we were on. If you wanted to, you could have it go and clip. Let's go with swirl. I kind of like that one. So right here it says web design services starting in. And it's going to not make sense because it says bigger, faster, and better but you can see it really stands out. So if that's a keyword that you want to stand out, maybe you would want that to be the price and it would be 997. There's really no need to have different prices show up there, but you could have something that you really want to stand out in this different color text with the animation. And that's going to really help draw your viewers eyes to this part of the website. 
So overall, I just wanted to say that the animated headlines can really make a big difference in the appearance of your website. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more Elementor tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.